Whenever you're designing a logo using vectors, it's common practice to make multiple copies of the design that can work on both light backgrounds and dark backgrounds. And when you're working with a, a monotone style of design like this, you may initially think to just make a duplicate copy and make it white, and now you have a copy that can be used on dark backgrounds. However, as you can see here, this design doesn't quite look right. And the reason why is because the way this artwork was created, it was intended so that the vector paths are meant to represent dark areas of the artwork, and the negative space was meant to represent light areas. And when you go and invert that, you get this photo negative sort of look that doesn't look right. A more visually correct representation of this design would be something like this, where we take the negative space of the design and we make that into the vector path, and then we make that white so that it looks more visually correct. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you a couple of different simple techniques in which you can create visually correct negatives using Inkscape. And the technique that you should use depends on the nature of your artwork. So make sure to stick around for both of them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select my artwork and copy it. And then I'm going to create a rectangle. I'll make this a mid-tone of gray and I'll go to Edit, Paste, and I'll choose Size. We want this rectangle to be the same width and height as the object, and I'm gonna lower it beneath the object, and then I'll select both of them, and I wanna make sure that they are centered on the vertical and horizontal axis. And with them both selected, I will go to Path and select Difference, and then I will go to Path and select Split Path. And now if you deselect everything, you can take these outer objects and get rid of them. And if you select everything here and group it together, you can make that white and place it on a dark background. And now you have a proper visual representation of that design that can be used for dark backgrounds. Now let's go over another method that you can use to create these proper negatives of your artwork. If you're working with a design where a lot of the area is defined by the dark edges, you're gonna notice that most of those details get lost if you use that technique I just showed you. So for this sort of design, we wanna create an outline going around the object so that it defines those edges better. Let me show you a different technique in which you can use. I'm gonna make a duplicate of my dark background and then I'm gonna make a duplicate of my object. And let me make the dark background a mid shade of gray. And then I'm just going to place this on top here. And once I do that, I'm gonna make another duplicate copy on top of that. And I'll make the duplicate copy white. And then I will go to path, break apart. And then path, union. And then I will lower that beneath the original object. And then I will go to path and select dynamic offset. And I'm gonna take this handle and pull this out and you can see it's gonna create an outline going around the subject. And once you're happy with the size of the outline, I'm gonna make mine about that big. You can zoom out, select all of the objects and go to path and select flatten. And now you can take these individual objects and move them out of the way. And now if I create a dark backdrop for this design, you can see we have a negative of that design that is visually correct. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.